Back here in California, a live look at the state capitol now. Lawmakers are moving forward with an agreement to help Californians faced with high gas prices and inflation. The deal will give some money back to taxpayers. KCRA 3's Lizay Mitri joins us now with who can expect to get those payments and when. Lizay? Andrea, the state estimates this will help roughly 23 million Californians paying those high prices at the pump. Here it's uh, close to six bucks and many other places more than six bucks a gallon for gas. While filling up at the Sacramento 49er Travel Plaza today, Larry King watched closely as the cost climbed. Never, ever, ever, ever. And it's still going. He's never paid this much for this car, he said, even snapping a picture. $98, 100 bucks. A tentative agreement between the governor's office and lawmakers aims to help. Millions of Californians will get rebates based on their income of either $350, $250, or $200 per taxpayer, plus an additional payment of that same amount if they have at least one dependent. That would mean a lot, knowing that they'll, they're actually helping us to try to help us with this situation, knowing that it's just so high. The state estimates direct deposits and debit cards will start going out by late October and finish by the end of the year or early next year. It'd be nice if it was sooner. Yeah, definitely, you know, it's hitting our pocketbooks now and we have to plan for it. But others like Terry Rigby say no matter when the rebates go out, it may not be enough. You just can't drive at this price. You can't go anywhere, can't go visit my daughter in the Bay Area. She's not coming to see me for the price of gas either. And he's been feeling the effects both personally and professionally as a truck driver. I'm fuming, I've been fuming over this. It's just, my company almost went under. They borrowed money to stay ahead because in the beginning, the gas was way up and they weren't getting more money for what we haul. In an effort to help businesses, the deal would also suspend the general fund portion of the sales tax on diesel fuel. It would reduce costs by about 23 cents a gallon for one year starting on October 1st. All these little band-aids they're trying to put on it is not enough to help anything. It's not.